Welcome, you're watching 10 News This Morning. I'm Virginia Cho. I'm Jason Martinez, Robert Santos uh, in for Megan this morning, and uh, we are already seeing a little bit of sunshine in San Diego. Oh, yeah, yeah. sunshine. It is May 1st, May Gray, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. Not seeing not it this case. morning. Yeah, mostly clear, uh, and it's pretty nice. Nice, mild morning, and in the day, we're going to drop those temperatures down just a little bit from what we had over the weekend, but it's still going to be nice and warm and warmer than average. Right now, we're starting at 61. I've seen that to be the temperature in the last couple of days as well to start. Sun up officially now and then setting at around 731. Let's get you ready for your Monday and you're seeing temperatures getting back up into the 70s. So average for this time of year around the coast is 68 degrees. We're above that low to mid 70s for your highs. Lunch hour in the inland valleys. It's going to be a warm one, but not as hot as it was. The upper 80s over the weekend. Now they're more low 80s for your highs in around 10 minutes when we actually see 60s for both the coast and the valleys. He apologized if we were making a lot of noise and then offered them, you know, you know, to basically partake. And the guy basically declined. And, and the next thing I know, you know, chaos. People down, 9045 Judicial, the suspect is reloading his gun in the pool area. There was a, you know, a young man there just laying there, you know, clutching his, and he just says, Drew, I'm hit, I'm hit. Suspect is down, medics are clear in. Horror at a pool party, a birthday celebration turning deadly, a gunman opening fire, shooting seven people. The scene was so horrifying, even officers were moved to tears. Now, here is what we know so far about this mass shooting yesterday at that University City apartment complex. One of the people shot has died. Six others are in the hospital, along with one more person who was hurt running to safety. The gunman has been identified as 49-year-old Peter Sellis, who also lived in that complex. Let's get to Melissa Masiha, who is in the 10 News Live Center. She's been digging into Sellis' background all morning. So, Mel, what have you found out? And Virginia court records are revealing a lot. Now he filed for bankruptcy back in 2015 and in that bankruptcy filing, you can see here that it says he was employed as a car mechanic for Mossy Ford, employed there for five years. It also showed that he had a lot of debt. The numbers here, more than $108,000. These documents also revealing that he had two kids, a daughter and a son, as well as a stepson. Of course, the motive here is still unknown. Let's go ahead right now, turn it over to Mimi Alcala. Mimi. Melissa, we're at the trauma center here at Scripps La Jolla. Now, where I'm standing is about eight minutes east of where that shooting happened. So several of the victims were brought here to this emergency room yesterday. A couple of them were taken to Scripps Mercy, and some do have critical injuries. Now, paramedics rushed to the scene, taking care of those partygoers who were shot. But sadly, one woman did not survive. But through the chaos, the people started coming together at the gruesome scene, holding each other and praying for all of those victims that were involved. Navy veteran Drew Phillips says he was only at the party for only about 15 minutes before that gunfire erupted. He says the shooter was just sitting near the pool, just watching. No one recognized him, so my friend, um, who was actually who we were having a party for, went over, introduced himself, and I believe he apologized if we were making a lot of noise, and then offered him, you know, you know, to basically partake. And the guy basically declined, and and the next thing I know, you know, chaos. He says the friend that was having the birthday party was the person who was shot the most about three or four times. According to Drew, we're waiting to get an update on the condition of all of the victims involved, and I'll bring that to you as soon as I have it. For now, we're live in La Jolla. Mimi Alcala, 10 News. Thank you, Mimi. The La Jolla Crossroads Apartments where this happened, you can see it's not far from the 805 or from La Jolla Village Drive. You can see they're right here, centrally located. Let me give you a better view here. Aerial Google Views will show you what this complex looks looks like now you can see the swimming pool here. This is the pool area where this happened. You can see it's surrounded by several buildings where people could see what was happening and hear the shots. I want to show you part of the 911 call log. Look at all of these calls. You can see how many people were calling all at the same time about an active shooter. Let's get to 10 News reporter Mary McKenzie, who's live tracking the investigation from the apartment. Mary, you can see the crime tape behind you. This is still so fresh for people waking up this morning. 
very much so. Good morning, Virginia. People here will be coming to the terms with the fact that one of their neighbors could do this. They were screaming. It was about six o'clock last night. They were screaming and doing anything they could to get away from the shooter. The Snapchat video catches these chaotic moments just after Peter Sellis started firing on a birthday. The image that keeps popping up in my head is the shooter just sitting down, relaxed, right. sitting down with a gun on his lap, looking at who knows what, thinking God knows what, but he's just sitting there so relaxed and I'm just so angry. Like, We will check back in with Mary McKenzie from the scene in our next uh, 15 to 20 minutes here on 10 News. We're going to stay on top of the story all day long, though, as well. As a matter of fact, uh, we want to let you know. Uh, Adam Rakusin uh, is actually looking into the background of the shooter. People down, 9045 Judicial, the suspect is reloading his gun in the pool area. I'm Team 10 investigator Adam Rakusin. As police are tracking the shooter, we're tracking them in the timeline of events from when the calls came in to when it ended. It was just a matter of minutes. Sounds like the active shooter. According to police radio calls that we could track down, the first call came in just after 6 in the evening. People are screaming. The police helicopter first to the scene, talking to officers on the ground. Within minutes, police were at the complex setting up a perimeter. There's talk of an active shooter, where he's aiming, and that he's shooting people. Eventually, police find him, and 10 minutes after the call came in that we could hear, someone over the radio can be heard saying this suspects down. They refer to the situation as a mass casualty. Three people down in a grass area. Adam Rakusin, Team 10. And we sent out this alert on our app last night so you can watch a live update from police on this story. We are going to be sending out alerts again today with any other breaking updates. Of course, you can get them by downloading our app, which is free in your app store. New at six, we have a pretty good idea of what San Diegans think about President Trump's first 100 days in office as part of our exclusive 10 News San Diego Union Tribune poll. We asked people if they feel included or excluded in Donald Trump's America. 48% said excluded, 36% said included, 16% not sure. We also asked people to grade President Trump's presidency so far. 30% giving an F so far, 17% a D, 20% a C, and of course 29%, 19% a B, and 11% give an A to President Trump in his first 100 days. The other topic, how has he handled the economy? It's split according to the San Diego Union Tribune 10 News poll here. 41% uh, approve, uh, the same amount disapprove, but 18% were not sure. We asked about seven other policy areas here, not just these topics, including health care, North Korea. We've posted those responses on 10news.com. 608, today is May Day. Hundreds of thousands of activists will be rallying and striking all over the country to support International Workers Day. Now, some people will protest by not going to work or school. At San Diego City College, they are offering a teach-in instead of normal class. English professor Kelly Mayhew says there's been an increased interest about worker and immigrant rights since the election last November. I believe that education happens inside and outside the classroom and that some of our most important educational opportunities are things that are happening in real time in the world around us. San Diego City College is not canceling classes today, but has left that up to professors to decide. So you want to check in with them. There will also be a workers march and rally today. So it starts at three o'clock right here at the federal building and it makes its way down Harbor Drive all the way over here to Chicano Park by four o'clock. And by four o'clock, we'll know if somebody is going to be $1,000 richer because right now, starting right now, 10 News is giving away. Hi, Virginia. Hi. $1,000. We're starting with this is twice a day. We're going to do this. This is the first of your two chances. And you can call the number on your screen, 619-237-6370. You know, so the 10th caller is going to win. If you don't win this morning, you'll have another chance tonight at 11 o'clock and again at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So just keep on trying. And of course, we'll do our best to let you know when that person has won so you don't keep calling and, and you can try again tomorrow or tonight. Good luck. That was me video bombing it. <laughs> yes, you did. You did a great job. It's going to trend. It's going to trend. <laughs> she did it all yes. slow and kind of creepy mm -hmm. a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I've done that to her before. There you go. She got yeah. back at you. All right, today's going to be a nice day to photobomb, take pictures, go out and enjoy. I know some of you probably even have some relatives that are visiting. 
uh, this time and it, it's come a good time. Weather's nice and warming up right now. We're seeing clear skies. You see from our upper left, that's Del Mar. And then the upper right, that's Poway from uh, the looks like looking towards the west. So nice sunshine all across 61 at the coast. We're seeing some low 50s in the inland valleys to start. Same thing for the mountains. And this is how we'll warm up. So it's a drop from yesterday, but it's still going to be warm and warmer than average. 74 at the coast will go mid 80s inland. But tell you what, both the coast and the inland valleys will get back into the 60s. And I'll show you that coming up in 10 minutes in the extended forecast. Let's get